What is up, Internet? It's your boy, Tenku. And today, we're going to be talking about an anime of the season. That was a video that I did a while ago that's a manga that deserves an anime. And it got an anime, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Today, we're going to talk about the hidden dungeon that only I can enter. Now, I was really excited about this because I read the manga. I love the manga. And I was really excited this season because we were getting two of them, you know. Uh, the hidden dungeon only I can enter. And suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town. And while the latter does everything wrong, uh, I had did a video a couple weeks ago on that one, uh, the hidden dungeon only I can enter does everything right, and I love it. For um, example, it takes its time, doesn't rush through it, it shows you the small details in the manga that make it really, really, really good. So, um, it revolves around our main character, Noir, who is the lowest class of noble. Basically, I think it's a baronet. And basically what it is, is they're peasants who earned nobleship through their deeds and such. And so the rest of the nobles kind of treat him like garbage, kind of treat him like crap. Um, you have Emma, who is his best friend, who's a higher noble ranking class and doesn't care about any of that stuff because it's obvious she's into noir. And so um, he starts off like he wants to get stronger, make more money for his family because the job he was going to have got taken away from him from a higher ranking noble and so he doesn't have that job anymore so he's going to figure out what to do to try to help support his family become better blah blah he decides he's going to be a um adventurer and he has a unique skill that's called great sage the problem is he can't use it because every time he uses it he gets headaches so unbearable he basically wants to kill himself and so he never uses the skill and even though it's a great skill it basically gives him the answer to any question he has he can't use it because the backfire is just too too much and so um he figures out um he uses it and takes the pain for the first headache and it just it's great the way they do it because they actually show the pain and you know get into it really deeply about the great sage skill and he finds a dungeon that um only he can enter because he has the answer to how to get into there and where it's at. You know, nobody else knows where it's at. And that's where he meets uh, Olivia. Olivia was this great adventurer about 200 years ago in the anime. And she killed a very high level mob and got caught in a curse. So she's like chained up like in there and she can't move and she can't remove the chains because it's like a death curse chain thing. So if the chains get removed, she dies basically. And she's able to talk to Noir telepathically. And since he was able to find the dungeon and use, you know, get in there, she names him her apprentice and gives him her skills. And her skills are very, very unique. Um, it got the skill of creation and edit, um, but there's a big turnaround on that. These skills are super powerful, but they use life points. And it's the only skills that do that. And life points is, they just call it LP, like your actual life points. So if you run out of life points, you die. And so, um, yeah, you have to use them very sparingly because Noir, you know, he doesn't have very many life points. Like that. But, of course, there's a way to get more life points through three major ways. To fulfill your uh, love of money, riches, food, and lust basically and then increases your life points therefore allowing you to create and use more powerful and powerful moves and such and then of course the other skill is he's able to scan other people and see their stats and everything like that and that one's just a basic skill that he gets and all that good stuff so um in order to gain lp uh, what I like about it is, yes, he's kind of a shy MC like the usual stuff, but he's not a wuss. He knows what he has to do, and he does it. He starts, you know, making out with Emma every morning <laughs> is their morning ritual or morning greeting as a way to gain LP. And Emma's into it because, of course, she's into him. And, of course, it's a harem, so he starts building a harem. Um, he meets uh, Lola, who's a receptionist at the Adventurers Guild, Odin, that he registers with. And, um, and then there's another one that comes along. I don't want to give her away because she's a pretty big plot point in the anime so she'll watch that and so of course he has to do loot things with these girls because he needs to gain lp in order to 
do more skills because some of the skills he has to use to save people and the situation he gets in are very, very high cost. But he's clever, you see. He He's able to edit certain things because he can edit skills too, not just create them, to make it to where it costs less LP, but to still win the situation. And that's what I like about this anime. You know, he has the, 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 the blatant answer that there is, like, how do I get out of this? And bam, this is how you do it. But it costs so much LP, he doesn't have the LP to do it. So he figures out a way to edit the skills that he does have to get into the situation and win. So that's what I like about it. I'm into harem, of course, you know, um, so a lot of people might not be into that. And, of course, there is a lot of, like, like making out and lewd things going on because that's what he has to do to gain LP. And he's not afraid to do that because he's, he's going to do what he can to win, basically. So I really like that about it. Um, they do a little side bit with his sister Alice, who's a total brocon. I don't know why they do that. In the manga, she's in the very beginning, but she doesn't really in the in the manga going forward but in the anime they sprinkle her in at the end of every episode because she gets like this hair that goes blue 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 and she's like oh another rival because she's in love with her brother which is weird but um it's just they play her for more comic relief which is great um because this is a comedy anime at its core um there's a big art coming up with emma i can't wait to watch it guys i can't recommend this enough watch it tell me what you guys think in the comments down below on the twitter on the facebook on the instagram and just remember guys if you can't trust around the fat guy you met on the internet then who can you trust and everybody have an awesome awesome day